Hi. Oh, hello. Hi, hi, Donald. How are you? Good. I thought I heard your name um, huh? when Larry called uh, somebody Marina in the. Were you at the job hackers? Yeah, yeah. I was. Okay. Today. I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something about moving, moving, they were moving chairs and stuff like that. So. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Did you also participate today? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, taking his session this time just to see what Job Hacker is all about. Uh -huh. uh, because I, um, I'm looking over there because I the screen's there. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought I would take it. Uh, I've I've been talking to Larry for a long time doing this project, and I said, you know, I better just take the course and see exactly what he's doing and, and get an idea. So I'm I'm pretty delighted in what he's uh, providing. So I'm uh, actually still in at least in office uh, after our class finished, and like just decided to stay here and go uh, our meeting. This I is how. And that's actually how I know about uh, like uh, your program. Larry told me about it. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I, I need to uh, connect with him. He's so busy. I hate to bother him. I know that he's probably got so many other things to focus on. But once in a while, um, we'll we'll connect and I give him an update on how the program's going. Um, but yeah, I, I I really appreciate his support. Oh, hello. So we got something else. Uh, someone yeah, else on. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great. We can hear you, but we cannot see you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have my camera on today. It's fine. Just some feedback. Am I, um, sorry, am I asking who is it personal? I just cannot see who is this person. Sorry, oh, say that again? Uh, see you, see you. Yeah, this is me. Ah, yeah. I, thank you. It's, how can I see who is like you know, who is? If you click, yeah, now I see. Click uh -huh. on the participant. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, I got it. Yeah. Thank you. yeah, but if they're calling in from a cell phone and stuff like that, you'll just get whatever comes up. Mm -hmm. Hey, David. Hey, everybody. Hi, Donald. Hi. Hi, David. Hey. Hello. Hey, David. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, who else is in here that I'm not seeing? Marina, Donald, Anna. <laughs> There's Anna. Yes, Anna. hello, everyone. Hey, Anna. How, Hi, was Anna. Your, how was your trip, Anna? Oh, it was great. It was lovely. It's up yesterday, I drove for about 10 hours. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Where did you go? I went to uh, Orange County to go visit my mom. Yes, it was, it was a very spontaneous trip, and I got to see David. And then right after I met up with David, Nancy, and Sylvia, I just took off to Los Angeles. But the traffic was pretty brutal, yeah. Yeah, especially when you yeah. came back, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad to have you here. Yeah. You take Highway 5 or you go down the coast? No, Highway 5. Yeah. That's yeah. Like. It's not as pretty, but it's shorter. <laughs> yes. much, much better. Okay. Who else are we expecting? Let me go to. I just reset on my computer, so it's going to take some time for me to. Yeah. Uh, Minimize. Nancy is gonna be late. She's uh, coming at twelve forty-five, I believe, because she has some other event. She cannot uh, be here in time. And so we are waiting for Whitney, I guess, and Sylvia. Yeah.
You think he might show up? Okay. Well, Nancy won't be able to make it. Okay. I do you know if, if Lisa is going to be here today? Question? Uh, do you know if Lisa is going to be here today because she didn't reply on my email? I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything in Slack. Oh, hey, Sylvia. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, everyone. Hi, Sylvia. Hi. Can you all hear me? Yes. Oh, great. And okay. Whitney, Whitney is here, so. There she is. Up. Awesome. So should we uh, wait another few minutes for Lisa? I don't know. Um, she didn't confirm on her on her Google invite, so she may be tied up. But this is her first week, I think, at the, on the on the new job. So it would be tough. I would be uh, quite surprised if she does make. It. Yeah, I sent her email like two hours ago and asked if she's going to participate, but she didn't reply to me either. Okay. Let's assume that she's not, and then I'll step in as the uh, product owner. David and I can provide input to, uh, to whatever you need. The impression I had from her last week is uh, from our meeting last week, Donald, was that you were covering for her. Yeah, I'm, I'm backing her up if you can't make any of these. Yeah, she started today. Yeah, so I wouldn't imagine she would just get off the phone. and Really wouldn't go, go over well with the new bosses. No, that wouldn't. <laughs> she's probably, you know, yeah, I could just imagine. Yeah, let's, let's assume she's not going to make it. All right, so let's go for it. I will, I will be the off of the uh, product manager, product owner. So, Sul, any maybe uh, present the Trello board? You can let anybody um, present that. Who do you want, Siona? Or, or uh, yeah, I can start my screen if you want. Um, The whole point here is just not to step on each other inside this thing. Um, if somebody's going to navigate, then it's best that you know, we pick one person. And uh, I don't know. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Go I could open it. I could share it and open it if you wish. No, it's okay. Yeah. Um, I can share that. Okay. Let me just go ahead and. Okay, so can you see my screen? Yeah, we see your website. Yep, the, your, okay, yeah. Perfect, okay, so Perfect. who wants to run the meeting? I mean, um, I can do that if you want or someone else can take the lead. So how do you wanna make it? Yeah, uh, usually someone on the development team will drive this so it's best that someone on the development team uh, take, take control of the Trillo board and then um, adjust based on the conversations with the team. So the exercise yeah. is to break it down and um, identify <clears throat> items that the team wants to commit for. Okay, so I, since I'm sharing the screen, so I can go ahead and uh, if you are all okay with that. Sure. 
Okay, so uh, based on our discussion last, uh, last week, so we were all supposed to check the product backlog and see what our level of confidence uh, will be in terms of taking ownership of uh, some of the PBIs or even like share that uh, among us. So if you are okay, I'm gonna start opening the first one, which um, we discussed last week in very much, uh, very detailed discussion last week. So you all remember this one, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, does anyone want to go over this? Do um, you wanna share your thoughts, the development team, how you feel about taking ownership of this PBI? Um, I actually am incredibly interested in working um, on the on creating the volunteer info page. Um, I had a chance already to kind of play around with um, WordPress, so I feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, so I think I, I would like to come on board for this. Anna, is this uh, so? Do you feel confident about taking that? Uh, I mean, full ownership. Or do you want to serve this one with someone else? Um, I think I, I feel comfortable either way. If there's somebody who would also like to get experience with this, um, Sylvia, is this something you would not like to work on? Um, it's something that I can co-work on. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that I can co-work on, but I also wanted to work on the training page. I see. Uh, which I'm currently in the process of and uh, almost completed. But I want to say on the training page, it's just a very high level tour of the dashboard, what each functionality is, and just basically going through and making sure that um, all the functionality is described. Um, the next stage could be something more like, well, here's how we want to create our own and how we bring in uh, you know, graphics, documents, text, change text, and all that stuff. So basically, it's just looking at a tutorial, copy, pasting, and writing the content for each screenshot so that it's understandable how to get that basic idea uh, of how to work with WordPress. Um, but once I'm done with that, which should be pretty shortly, uh, I can definitely jump on board, Anna, and work with you on this one. I think, however, this one also needs to be broken down. It's got a um, very high expectation. I think the first phase, um, and I don't know how much we can really get done, but we'll try to do as much as we can. Uh, the first phase is to really get all the content that we want to display uh, for, as for the volunteers. Uh, and then the next step would be to get it into WordPress. And it would be basic information uh, and then later uh, we can maybe make it more robust uh, but uh, I don't expect for each one of them the volunteer uh, and also the training one to be extremely robust so uh, Sylvia let me jump in here so basically uh, I heard you saying that you will be okay co-working on this one but you are also confident about taking the uh, training one, so the uh, WordPress training one. Um, does anyone else uh, want to co-work on this one? And I'm asking because uh, on my end, when I was taking the PBI, the product backlog items, so there were only three of them that um, I thought I would be more confident working in, and all three are related with the volunteer um, uh, the volunteer PBIs, one of them being this one here. So I will also be okay working with Anna, so co-working on this one. Uh, does anyone else uh, want to uh, serve this one? I don't want to participate in it, but I would say that I think the page will be more robust than anybody's thinking because when Lisa showed me the volunteer application survey, Link, there was a lot of text built into that that I probably would have put out on kind of a, on some volunteer information pages. So there's a tremendous amount that's in there that can be leveraged for the new pages mm -hmm. um, so that it's not just kind of a 
quick and dirty summary page. I think that when you all look at it, you're going to find that you can build out more robust pages than is being taught right now. Well, whatever is provided, if it's got links and pages to fill out and all that, that's already there. Um, what I meant by more robust is uh, we might have missed some information as information changes. We might also want to show uh, different graphics to kind of just, you know, make it more robust. But if there's a page that we can go to that's already there via a link and needs to be filled out, um, that that is robust. That is fine. It's but it's part of what's already been provided. Yeah. Well, I I mean I think people aren't going to go when they're just wanting to get some initial information about volunteering for SVPM. I don't think they're going to want to go into the actual application to read everything. So it's just going to be a matter of using some content in both places. Okay. Uh, or or just maybe working. With Donald and David to decide what should go on the pages and what needs to stay in the application Great. and the, the the side the offshoot of that may be another PBI to see if there is a form plug-in that can be used to put the volunteer application within a WordPress page instead of a Google Drive link So that I think that would be something for for whoever works on this PBI to consider is that the, the follow on task for the next sprint might be looking into looking into plugins for forms. I think uh, just to add to that, um, there was an idea that there will be parts of this. Um, there's there's elements within the raw materials that are provided on the Google Drive under the volunteer orientation piece and the onboarding pieces, uh, but then that welcome um, the onboarding welcome uh, script that that uh, that's there in the Google Drive. There will be elements that we want to. We talked about this, and I think it's in there that those need to be some of these things need to be um, uh, protected. And we talked about that. The, the details are inside there, as far as inside the, um, the Trillo card on what we might want to look at to um, remove. So as you say, um, uh, there, there is going to be some, some decision points and some complications. Oh, well, not complications, but discussion points on where to decide to what to what, uh, publish on the page and what to hold back. I don't think I, we may not have a solution. It'd be great if we did, but there, the, for example, the registration um, information down below has, uh, let's get an example, uh, team uh, scrum team contact lists, and they have phone numbers and email addresses, and that's protection, the information that we want to protect inside uh, and, and not have exposed to the outside, uh, maybe just names, you know, uh, for teams would be uh, appropriate for for that information, but um, so there's a lot of information. You're right. Um, so Whitney, we'll have to you'll have to decide as a team where to where to separate what what is most appropriate and what's not. Okay. Um, so. Um, Saya, uh, you said that you would be co-working with this, but you have certain kind of portions that you will be adding to this portion, correct? You won't be exactly working with me building the page? Well, what I, um, I was trying to say is that um, I said uh, three different PBIs that are uh, related with volunteering information and, you know, like uh, the, this one, the page on the website that I was uh, thinking I could either take ownership, not specifically about this one, like taking full ownership, but the other two seem to be like, um, I was a bit more confident about those two. I think this one has a lot of um, amount of work, so I will be happy to co-work on this one. I mean, take, but I wouldn't be taking any other PBI, so it's either this one, co-work on this one, or take ownership on the other two. 
unless anyone else wants to take those, of course. Um, but yeah, like uh, after having uh, uh, here Whitney, uh, Donald about this PBI, so uh, there seems to be much more than just create the, uh, the info page. Uh, I heard Whitney saying about the plugins for the server link. So um, how, Anna, how confident are you in terms of your technical experience? So will you be confident about taking like, you know, like co-working uh, in all aspects of the PBI or do you want to break this PBI down into something that uh, you might see more doable for this sprint? Yes. Um, I do feel, I do feel quite confident. Um, not, I, I've only played around a bit with WordPress. Um, volunteer welcome introduction, that shouldn't be too complicated. Um, yeah. Um, the survey link, I, when I met up with David on Friday, um, I did ask him how complicated is it going to be for us to get links on there? Are we going to be coding these links? Um, sorry guys, I think there's a lot of noise in the background. Um, but he said that, um, he did mention to Sylvia and to Nancy and I that at the moment, because of the amount of time that we are required to spend on this, that he... He kind of just said, you know, give it your best try. And he even said we don't even have to be working on WordPress itself. He said we can get kind of a document together where we're breaking it down in terms of this is what we plan to make in terms of change. And then maybe on a next print, those changes are implemented. I feel confident enough having a plan out. For example, you and I can kind of plan out together in terms of what we expect or what we envision, right, for this um, information page to have. We share that with Donald, with Marina, with David, and then after that, it can quickly be implemented onto WordPress. Um, so I don't feel like it's too complicated. Do you think I'm, I'm not really taking into consideration everything that it's really going to be, that it's asking for? Well, I was basing my comments on uh, the earlier discussion between Whitney and Donald, uh, but it looks that, I mean, you have a level of confidence, so, um, I will be happy to take this one with you and uh, let you lead a little bit since you haven't spoken with David. So uh, let you lead and then collaborate with you on this one. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So. So are you two taking it alone? Do you want a third person? I don't mind uh, being part of it also. This is Sylvia. Um, how do you feel about that? And I, I mean, the only, the only reason why I will hesitate is it might become something that, uh, you know, like maybe we can put the efforts on a different PBI. So maybe like two focus on one PBI and then the, the third one focuses on, on a different PBI. Uh, but I'm, I'm super open. So if you, if uh, you think you, we should be collaborating the three of us, then I'm also fine with that. So, well, it's up to you guys. Uh, if you need help, call me. I'm going to work on the um, training one. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, Sayoya, uh, Sayoya did mention that um, she did want somebody to take full responsibility for the other two. Um, so, then I guess, Sylvia, do you feel comfortable enough taking full responsibility um, for? Yeah. Uh -huh. For the training one, yes, I I need to look at the other one to see. Okay. Okay, so at least then we have this one assignated um, to the two of us. Um, actually, it might be quicker if I do this. Anna, is this you? A L. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, great. And I think this is me. Yeah, perfect. So then, uh, Sylvia, just to make sure, is this the one you were referring to? Yes. Okay. So you said you are okay taking this, uh, this one full ownership? Yes. Or do you want to ask for some help? Okay. Um, no, I think I'm okay. Um, like I said, um, I'm going from a perspective of a tour of the dashboard and basic functionality of everything on the dashboard from a video that I'm learning from a video series that I'm learning from 
Uh, it's actually a, Word, a WordPress video series, so it's, there's no copyright issues. Um, it's open to everybody. And um, basically, it, the first phase in my mind is to train people on what WordPress is and how it works and what all the features are. And then if we want to do another one, we can do a you know, live action. Uh, you know, I'm going to now create my own blog and here's what I'm doing. I'm going to create my own post, or what do they call it, page, and here's what I'm doing. Uh, and we can definitely, uh, that'd be more advanced features, right? Okay, so as a summary, so are you okay if I leave it as tour of the dashboard and bas basic functionality? During this yes. first sprint. Okay. Right. So what is the definition of done here? It's a WordPress guide document on Google Drive. So this is going to be on Google Drive, not on the website? Right, because it's internal. Okay. This can be part of the volunteer onboarding packet. So there's kind of like... Right, can be exactly. Can be linked, yep. I guess. It yep. can be a living document that's reviewed and updated periodically. A new PBI mm -hmm. needs to be created as, on, right, as ongoing maintenance and additional robustness is required. I agree with that. Okay. okay. Anything else you want to add? No, I think that's great. Okay. So, uh, next one. It's actually updating the list of all current volunteers in WordPress. So yeah, uh, Anna, this is one of the three PBIs that I was talking about. Um, when I see here, like, hi, hi, uh, and Donald, you might know more about this one. So uh, how challenging is uh, this PBI? Because I know Aswani worked on this one during our first uh, iteration uh, back in July. But uh, I'm not sure if Maybe the technical knowledge that you need to have for just adding names or if this is like a yeah, super... Yeah. The, yeah, if I recall, this is the one where um, we're going to try to make a new approach on the sidebar at giving credit. Is this the one? Yeah, so basically on the sidebar, we, are gonna, right. we have to add the current sprint the volunteer right. names and then there is another PBI uh, about adding, you know, like all uh, former volunteers and current volunteers so that it becomes like a database. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that other one is sort of uh, slightly different. This, if let me let me go in the true load because I need to look at the title here. Um, this is uh, the third one from the bottom. Let's see, right? Yeah. And okay. So we were talking. We thought maybe this might require some element of a plugin uh, or a feature that uh, would uh, would capture certain parts of the uh, within a file. So it's got a complexity to it that uh, I don't know if anyone has an experience in that area. Uh, Donald, if I'm not wrong, uh, uh, Lisa uh, Lisa created a, a, a spreadsheet of volunteers. We can we yeah. can work on that. We can work on that and post volunteers name on that and keep that doc document live while we create the uh, volunteer pay, volunteer tab on the site and then gradually add our volunteers to that uh, to, to our site and give them the credential on WordPress because right now for instance we can add volunteers on our uh, on our site and uh, depending on the uh, uh, on the uh, menu bar then we can add, we can have that menu bar be visible only for logged in volunteers that would be next phase but for now I think just keeping the the list of our current volunteers in the database that, or the, the spreadsheet that uh, Lisa created would be a good uh, good approach. At least we have all the names, and then on the site on homepage we can uh, we can update the volunteers name list. That's just a suggestion. Right, right, and that's a manual process you described, right? Correct. Right, and then a, the, the more advanced piece, yeah, so we could probably break it down in, that, uh, in those increments. One is a manual step to make sure that works. And then um, there was also talk, I think, about this where it was automated, but we'll, because um, of where it would pull from some other data source and then just expose the current team 
Um, so that's that may not be in here. Maybe that's what the other Trillo card is all about. But we'll see. I think, yeah, I think it's the other one. So in yeah. terms of this one, so, uh, so we'll leave it for now as the manual step in terms of adding those names into the sidebar. Yes, that was an update. Uh, adding the names into an Excel spreadsheet or the sidebar? This will be actually both of them because adding the name to spreadsheet would be really easy and just copying from the spreadsheet and adding to sidebar would be a second. Uh, this, you know, because of the, uh, the, the amount of effort is really minimal, this can be one ticket and we can take care of it, whoever wants to take that. How many volunteers do we have in the past? Those are listed in the... In is it, uh, is it 100 or is it uh, no. 20? No. no, it's about, yeah, it's about 20. Oh, uh, okay. Then that's pretty easy. Okay. Yeah, there's still room where it's not ridiculously long that we could still just, you know, do exactly what we're doing. But eventually, this is the whole idea. Is eventually, this is going to get to a point where we will have hundreds, and we right. only want to put the most recent team up front. But we want to give the other folks some recognition so that folks right. can come in and say, you know, if you're in an interview and say, oh, I, I worked on this project, um, just go to this location and they'll find them. We want to still have that available. Um, so, so that's the idea. Right. Like, um, to have like a credits page or something like that to yeah, be yeah. To indicate past credits who've been yes. volunteering just so you kind of have like that archive ongoing. Right, recognition of teams in the past that have contributed to this effort. Yeah. Hey, so uh, Donald and David, when you say that uh, Lisa created this uh, spreadsheet, uh, wh where is that located? Because I don't think I, I, I've seen that one. Uh, it might be in a different PBI. Um, yeah, I think it's because of its nature, because it's sort of, um, pers it, it's got um, everybody's information in it. I, it may be in the, um, in the product owner slash um, sponsor uh, folder. We can make that available to whoever's working on this. Okay. So then as a first step, so I just, uh, so for this PBI specifically, we only want to add the names into the spreadsheet, right? Um, I thought it was going to be more complex. Yeah, well, you would update the spreadsheet to include this team. Right, and then and then you would publish this next this this team in the sidebar, and uh, it would take it would be on top of the previous uh, May two thousand nineteen to present. Then it would be you know that would this would go on top. Okay, so it's actually the two of them. So the teams volunteer names into the spreadsheet, and then also add them into the uh, web page, right? The sidebar. Sidebar, yeah. And that, that's the manual process we're talking about. And that, would that be correcting it then for current, you know, as in volunteers, and we still need to create um, a separate component around Credit the past volunteers. Yeah, that um, that's already documented in the sidebar. The past volunteers so far, we're having a, a an ongoing from the day one. All the volunteers so far, but eventually we'll need to put those off on an, on a form of itself. So that's that's really the key. That the those those uh, past team. Uh, Posting should be somewhere, so we keep a record of it. We keep an ongoing right. register. So should that become a separate story or task, or so we capture that? Or yeah, that that's almost a se separate uh, task or t story. It's small enough to be a, a task, but it could be a story. But um, let's look at the other item. I think the other there's somewhere in, either in here or in another uh, Trillo card that talks about. Yeah, um, there's another one. Isn't this one here, the update the volunteer database? 
Yeah, so this is where the information be, the master information for all historical information plus current. So once we get this process going, it becomes, <clears throat> or get this solution, it becomes a ongoing process for every onboarding, um, every, every cycle. That's what the second sentence is going forward. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that would be this, the, and Nancy, that would be the piece to address your question. It's actually a separate item. Right, okay. <clears throat> so does anyone feel confident on taking uh, either the previous one we just discussed, maybe even this one too, or? Yeah, the previous one is more of a predecessor to this one. Yeah, so it's somehow it's both of them are tied, right? I mean, uh, yeah. the other one doesn't seem to be that complex. If we're talking about that manual process of adding names, uh into the spreadsheet and then into wordpress uh and then this one is basically keep that file the spreadsheet you know at the make sure that the former volunteers are included in that uh file so yeah now in previous teams i think ashwani went ahead and uh, updated the sidebar in the last iteration so um but he didn't document any of that process right he had the knowledge but uh it was you know so the person who would be doing this would be learning that 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 aspect of uh wordpress administration it's very <laughs> it's almost like adding a, a blog or a post same thing and i think what is the the difficulty here i think it was small um Low. It got too low. I think it was low. Yeah. So. But the other one was high. I don't know why the other one. Well, the other one's high because it's. Uh, that's what you guys decided it was because there's a learning curve. But once you do this, uh, I don't know. You know what? You didn't. You didn't size the one below it. I think the one below is probably. Um, yeah, because there's a separate one for WordPress Web Admin. Yeah. Which then is in correlation. Well, that's the one I think uh, that uh, Sylvia took. So, are you talking about uh, this one, the author page, or I'm getting a bit lost here, confused about. No, the, the, the one below it, uh, the update volunteer database, and the one above it, the it, okay, so this two the title, yeah, yeah. So the the update volunteer database is a predecessor to the manual process that you're going to do in, in the successor above it, and we didn't size that one yet. We didn't get to it. So, but it, if you did reevaluate it, you probably have it. Uh, um, uh, it, it would probably be high as well, but so be cautious of that one. You didn't, we didn't um, refine it. But th that's up to your team to decide. So, so then a question for the development team. Does anyone feel confident on taking any of these two? Um, you're looking at create a volunteer list and what was the other one? So yeah, it will be the update list of the current volunteers in WordPress, which uh, as Donald said, it might involve a little, a, uh, a bit of uh, learning in terms of, you know, like how adding that in WordPress. And then the second one, which we rated as low, but I think I understood that Donald says this might have a bit more work than, uh, than what we think. So this is the volunteer database. Are those the only one highest 
priority that we're looking at, or are we looking at all the different ones where we're going through assignment and assignment? I'm yeah. confused where we're well, at. Yeah, I was opening the question just to see if anyone will feel confident on, you know, like getting any of these two. I'm just focusing on the volunteers one, or if any of you has already spotted any other PBI, so maybe you want to go through uh, the remaining product backlog items and then leave this to uh, for the end, but um, yeah, I I'd like to hear some feedback from the development team. I think for me, I've got my hands full with the training doc. Um, if I do finish early, I I will definitely jump on to that one, the easier one, where I just need to enter the names into the spreadsheet and then into the volunteer tab. Yeah, um, kind of same as Sylvia. Um, I really want to focus on just the information page. Um, but if I feel like that's going pretty simple and pretty quickly, um, I can jump on board afterwards. Yeah, and this is Nancy. I mean, I was thinking of a different task, but if this is a higher priority, I can probably do this one and then do another one. What's, uh, Nancy, can I ask you which PBI were you thinking of? The WordPress how to guide for authors. This one here, the WordPress how to guide? Yeah. But, okay. But, um, it, that may have more insight for the sequence, maybe we need to do the volunteers, get a handle on that first, and then get to this. That one was uh, interesting, and then there's in the content strategy in blogs. Uh, Donald, what are your thoughts on, on this? I mean, uh, or even like from David, so would you have any preference uh, if Nancy jumped into this one first, uh, creating the um, author page, or do you want us to focus on those volunteer PBIs? No, we, um, David, I'll let you say, but I'll let, this is my approach. Um, you guys, I want you guys to form and, and get an under, you know, sort of get the feel of Scrum. So pick something you feel comfortable with. Uh, try not to stretch something that's over over complicated for you right now. So if that seems to be something, Nancy, that you'd like to try create, well, I thought um, I'm getting this mixed up with uh, uh, Sylvia. I thought you wanted to do that, but, but uh, maybe you guys team up on it. But uh, so, find so, something. So, Donald, uh, the one I'm doing is the uh, training for the admin. Okay. This is for the author. Okay. So it's almost similar to what you're doing, but it's different. Similar, okay. yeah. It basically okay. needs, this one basically, the person being highlighted uh, needs to know the steps to go in and enter graphics, pictures, text, to say what they want to say about their own bio. Yeah. The it. other one is step-by-step -step of full uh, WordPress. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Ciela, th this is okay. Um, Perfect. If, okay. If you, if you don't, you know, if, if, if something in between is ranked um, and you can't get to it and you don't have the resources and folks don't feel comfortable with it, then we, I would prefer you not do it. Great. I mean, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm with you. So, um, yeah, in the last two iterations, I was taking the ones that I felt more confident about. Yes. I just wanted to make sure that uh, you guys were okay with that. There's, the, there's been like so much discussion about the volunteering and so on. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make sure that that's yeah. fine. Same with the whole set of the volunteering is still a bit confusing, so yeah. Okay, so then I have assigned this one to Nancy, and um, is there anyone else from the development team that I'm missing? Whitney, right? So, Whitney, are you still there with us? So you know, there's there's a task in there that's a completion of something I started in Sprint One that I'd like to make sure I finish with Donald and David before I step away. It's the Can one you, contributor guide and T and C's. This one here, the yeah. finalize. Okay. 
So and there there were some other things that I was working on working on off the product backlog that I'll need to talk to Donald about separately. Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, it looks to me. Am I missing anyone from the the development team? No, 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 you're not. I'm not right. Okay, so um, um say say uh, well, yeah. Um, create a contributor welcome page was another one of mine from Sprint One. So do you want to take this one too? Yeah, I want to, before I step away, I want to make sure I drive these to completion with Donald and David. Perfect. Okay. Am I missing any other with me? Not, not that I know of. Keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Um, that's all. No, those those were the only two of mine from Sprint Two. Okay, great. So, um, so this is actually, yeah, this is a question for the whole uh, development team. So, um, do we feel confident, or are um, so are we confident on taking just these ones for now? And if we see that. Uh, we get a bit free. Uh, we might have another discussion in you know the next uh, once we start the sprint and so on. So if we have more time, we could revisit the product backlog and think of maybe other PBAs that we can take on. Um, a question, or maybe I just don't see it, and I'm trying to scroll. Um, is the volunteer info page here? Because I thought that was a high priority one. Uh, you mean in the sprint backlog? Oh, uh, sorry. I guess I didn't. I had it blocked. Is that in the backlog, or is that what we're looking at doing? So any PBA related with volunteering, I left them in the product backlog for now, and I okay. just moved into the sprint backlog. Anything that we felt confident, we can take on uh, during this sprint. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Hey, uh, the team, I, I noticed um, there is one that's tagged by uh, Siantica. This one think, here? Yeah, on the product backlog. Yeah, should we remove that? Perfect, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so then uh, it looks that we have already defined uh, the PBS we are going to be working in, right? I think this, um, yeah, this looks good enough. David, anything else? You think this is enough? <laughs> you want to push the team to do more? No, no, no. no. There, there is, there, you know, we, we just want, uh, yeah, yeah, we just want to, to have the team deciding on their own sprint backlog and uh, feel comfortable. I'm sure after uh, one or two sprint, uh, they would, they would uh, have the, uh, the speed that they know what they can provide and how they can do. So this is, this is pretty good. Uh, it's excellent. And thank you very much for with me taking, uh, uh, taking the tab and I uh, want to complete uh, the two uh, uh, item that you've been working on. I appreciate it greatly. Yep. Um, the, there's another PBI over in the product backlog about looking at project, other options for project management tools. Mm -hmm. Donald and David, where are you, what, where's your head at on that right now? Do, are you wanting to just kind of stick with Trello for a few months or? Yeah, I've got to put my product owner hat back on and um, uh, I'll just try to, in that regards, that was just to collect. Um, we were thinking along the lines of a, an advanced team. Um, this, this is 
uh, Trillo we're finding is, is a good uh, starting point and um, to transition what we got mo moving, the momentum here, into a new tool could break some things. So we're thinking maybe having uh, this is where we would probably uh, find a point to uh, get a more advanced team to work within the new tools. So we're looking for folks that might have some knowledge in um, JIRA and uh, would like to go to another board using that uh, that as a tool. But again, it's um, that that's part of where we're thinking. Um, and we, we would like this to, to become a decision based on team members who want to. So as, as you did uh, refinement, backlog refinement for that particular subject, this is where that conversation would occur in an advance, right? We would get an idea of where we would put that step. How valuable is it? Does it have value to the team now? Uh, is there a current issue that we need to address that will uh, we will resolve by adopting that particular action item or that, that backlog item? So is this not at the point, because one of the definition of done that I see down there is researching the top three to five PM tools, coming up with a score sheet to compare these tools, et cetera, et cetera, create a report, on and on. If, is, is that something that you want to at least get rolling at this yeah. point? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind taking that one on and at least getting it started, even if subsequent sprint teams continue taking it into another direction. Yeah, um, that'd be fine. It's um, the definition of done is if you have uh, that list, right? And you started that list. Uh, we don't have one. I think we have it all over the place. We have it in some meeting agenda minutes and that kind of thing, but we don't have an actual document that we can. Yeah, continually I, I, refine. I, I know I was the mouthiest one in print, Sprint 1 about not liking Trello and its lack of granularity. So um, mm -hmm. I'm willing to kind of put my money where my mouth is. Okay. <laughs> Start get it started. Research for you guys and, and get that role going. Uh, a, a quick note on that. Uh, me. Uh, this is the, the, your question comes in past three four years in in different PMI meetings, different uh, meetups, and uh, all over the world as what are the best uh, practical tools that are being used uh, by different uh, agile teams slash project management team, both in in team base as well as uh, as well as <clears throat> larger. Uh, applications in scaled level uh this is this, you know the, the the question of what tools and how to do are going to be there my when, when we talked on screen one uh, we were thinking of having this uh these tools set and probably create a kind of blog in that and mm -hmm. set it on site and then guess what every two or three sprints we will have uh, our team members like you uh, who would want to uh, take a look at it and probably enhance it or update it, then that would be a kind of a uh, uh, good tool for project program management uh, community time to time to come and uh, add their uh, two cents in that sense. I appreciate if you could take a look at that and at least initiate that, uh, that mm -hmm. uh, product. Yeah. Yeah, so it it's up to you, Whitney. Um, just don't want you to overwhelm yourself. You got like three items, so that's okay. Um, so, um, so let me, you know, I, I need to have another conversation with Donald that I really don't want to have out in front of the whole group. Sure. Um, so we, we'll do that. why don't we, we can mark this for me as a stretch and, you know, I, I, I I think that there are things that I can do to at least get the ball rolling for these first two weeks and then, you know, see where we're at for the next sprint. Um, yeah, the, the normal, yeah, the normal way that that would, I'd imagine this would occur if I'm thinking about the way Scrum works is 
you get you'd get completed with these other items that you've committed yeah. to within the sprint backlog. And if you're done, go pull that other one and start working yeah. on it. That's that's why I called it a stretch. Which is yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, if I don't, if I'm not able to start it until right. uh, next next Monday, then I'm just getting done whatever I can get done in five days. But mm -hmm. I do, I had to do something similar to this for my old team at my old job. So I think that I have a lot of notes that I can just pirate and leverage. Perfect. Yeah. To to at least get things started, so we're not starting from a blank page. Yeah. That sounds valuable Perfect. from that input for you know the purposes. And, and frankly, you know, I'm such a junkie for agendas, planners, project management tools, Kanban boards, all of that junk. So this is we'll this just yeah. gives this just gives me a legitimate reason to go screw around with all of that for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the colorful language, but it's just no, no. Um, whoever's going to manage the uh, the the video, um, I'd be interested to know what you're going to use as a tool. I mean, Zoom is a good solution, but um, I want to see if there's other things, and maybe that needs to be on that list. No, but that that, that I think that'll come around in the iteration and the and the retrospective. We'll, You'll learn, you'll find things, and then they'll come out in the retrospective of whether that, whatever solution you used was, was functional. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just sort of painting a picture of how I think things will evolve. Um, and, and I think, you know, that's part of this process. So I'll wait. I'll wait and see. Okay. Okay. I will take care of it. Okay, so... Um I'm going to move this one into the sprint uh, backlog and then uh, see how much we need to progress this one. But at least it's going to be a starting point for future iterations. Great. So does anyone else from the development team want to add anything else? No? Um, no, not from my side. Okay. So um, then, Donna. Uh, um, Sayoa, this is Nancy. Yeah. For that yeah. update list of all current volunteers, was that just updating the current list? So, what I, I understood. Simple, I mean, I can take that if it's simple like that. So I understood, and don't uh, correct me uh, if I'm wrong. So I understood that the first step will be adding uh, the teams, so the current teams, volunteer names into the spreadsheet. And then as a second step, add also those names into the SVPM sidebar. So it looks right. to me that the more complex one will be step number two. So number one is just a very manual process. Right, it's um, good enough, and the, Yeah, and the only thing that no, we will have to get from <laughs> Sorry. Neither of them are hard. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking I can probably do that. It kind of correlates with what I've already said I'd do with the mm -hmm. so. Okay. Since I'm wearing two hats, you get a hold of me. Um, as the uh, sponsor, I'd provide to the product owner the list. <laughs> and so I'm the product owner, so um, I'll give you the list. Just send me a note and I'll get it out to you. That's part okay. of your first step. That's part of your first step, so you'll be done real quickly. Yeah, the second one, then you'll have plenty of time, runway to figure out how to post that those names on the sidebar. That'll be the fun part. Great. So, anyone else wants to add something? Okay. Okay. So, um, Marina. You could take over as a scrub master and give the people direction on where they need to do next. Uh, sorry, can you please repeat the question, though? I didn't hear you. Oh, okay. As a scrub master, what do you want to, you know, you're, you're going to be the um, servant leader. So you're going to, if uh, Sailor is done with her team and getting things in the sprint backlog, what do you want the team to do next? Or just get them geared up for what the next activity is and um, 
and answer any questions or concerns about the team regarding Sprint. And um, it's, uh, what if ahead. we will repeat all of the pro uh, product backlog items which we will discuss today and uh, who is going to take care of each and then after this we can uh, finish our meeting and uh, I believe we start our print on September 9th and uh, Okay, CEO, you are done, right? Yeah, we are done. So basically, just to add here, my two cents. Uh, so yeah, uh, the sprint is supposed to start next week on Monday, right? And it's gonna go all the way to uh, September 20th, right? So we have uh, two stand-up meetings, September 11 and 18, and then we will have the retro, uh, the review, sprint review, and retro the following week, right? The starting in September 23 which I don't have right now here in front of me, any okay. invitation, but. So Marina, can you pull up the schedule? Yeah, I do can pull up the schedule. So uh, we still, like this week we will figure out when we will have print review based on the Doodle calendar. And uh, we also will figure out when we will have print retrospective. And uh, September 11, we have uh, our send up meeting at September 18th. Yeah. I will send you the notification when uh, we can have a sprint review and sprint retrospective meeting based on the Google calendar and the people's availability. Sounds good. Great. Sounds good, yeah. Okay. So is there anything else you wanted to drive, um, Marina, in this call? Uh, I will send in our Slack team uh, information, like the video about our meeting today. And uh, also we'll do a note to our Google doc documents about today's meeting. And I think we can declare the screen planning over for today. Very good. Do you have any questions? Tim? Not for me. No, I'm good. No, no good? I feel I'm good. Uh, just a note, I know it's a little stretch. Uh, we had a very good uh, meeting last Friday, uh, uh, four of us, and uh, I'm hoping if you guys need to have more of these uh, meetings you just ping me uh, me and uh, others we can have uh, ping me if you have any question i know enough about wordpress and uh, what's going on ask me or donald offline i'm available on zoom as well whenever you need my help. great yeah, thank you david thank you okay uh, before we finish this meeting, and uh, this is, yeah, probably more for Anna, but um, I'll get in touch with you. Um, do you mind if I use a Slack, uh, a direct message to you, so that we can start, you know, like planning how we are going to be working on that PBI, and yeah. then we take it from there. Yeah, perfect. Slack works well. Great. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, and uh, have a beautiful day to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Marina. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Thank you, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Bye.